Alright, so we're going to discuss, this is the third or fourth time that I've tried to record this, but um, I want to talk about peace and enjoyable fat loss, peaceful and enjoyable fat loss, as I typically tend to do. Um, and the first thing that comes to mind is just a repetition of like, as we talk about all these different pieces of the puzzle, you know, things that come up, just remembering that at the end of the day, the mechanism that everything sits on top of, like fat loss is about excess calories. It's about calories are basically, you know, a way that we look at uh, food is atoms. You're made up of atoms. You bring too many atoms into the body. Excess gets stores, stored as body fat. We know what the human fat molecule is made up of. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. We know how it transports from, from that fat molecule and gets released through breathing. We know all this stuff. But it's important to continue to come back to this because we don't want to unnecessarily complicate things, right? Our goal is not just fat loss. It's fat loss in a peaceful and enjoyable way so that you no longer think about fat loss. The real goal is enjoyment of life, not constantly thinking about fat loss. But we need this understanding and we got to repeat it. And so, you know, in the world of content, a lot of the stuff that people will talk about is just because, you know, they got to get views, they got to get likes, they got to get comments. And, you know, I, I, this is it's not a judgment, but as, a, as for you, the person trying to lose fat, it's not helpful. What would be most helpful is not always what's most popular, right? What would be most helpful is just a continued focus on like, hey, if you eat too many calories and you don't move enough, if you use less calories than you take in every day, then you're going to gain body fat over time. So first and foremost, like no matter what you do, if you're not in a calorie deficit, it's not going to matter, right? Um, the second thing on top of that is, is you can do it in an enjoyable way. You can do it in a peaceful way. And that is my, that is my whole mission statement, peaceful and enjoyable, because if you don't do it in that manner, you're not going to find peace or enjoyment after losing fat in a miserable way. And most people, that's why they end up, they can't keep doing the thing that they're doing because it's miserable. And it doesn't adapt to any situation, right? You got to have like 50 perfect, uh, like everything has to be perfect in order for you to lose fat, which is not realistic. And so they end up gaining all this weight back. And th this is, having a really good coach makes a, makes a big difference. Having a community that is, that, that goes about it in a peaceful, enjoyable way is very important. You know, first time I ever got in shape was when I joined CrossFit in 2009. And prior to that, like, you know, I had spent seven years or whatever trying to get in shape. Nothing worked. But this was the first time I was in a community of people who were strong, lean, etc. And very quickly I got strong, lean for the first time in my life. Um, but yeah, it, the repetition is just so important. Like, hey, um, this is about calories. And if you don't want to look at that, that's fine. There's, then you're probably not going to stick around anyway. But, you know, my, I feel like my job is to share this message uh, with that emphasis of peace and, jo and joy. 
Um, is here's a here's the thing. You get an injury. The ultimate goal. Let's say you get a knee knee pain or something, and you're playing. You play soccer. The ultimate goal is to not feel the knee. Like the goal is to return to play. Like if you're healthy, you're not thinking, "Oh my God, my knee is healthy." You're just playing. You're not thinking about the knee. And so with fat loss, the ultimate thing is like you're living life. You're not thinking about, oh, I'm doing, you know, I have to do this. I'm in a fat loss phase. Like you're just eating and doing the stuff that you want to do and having peace and having enjoyment and living life. That is the ultimate. That's when you're doing it at the highest level, right? Um, and I don't think these things are very popular uh, because they're not as controversial. Well, I, they are controversial. People will still argue about calories uh, even though it's, you know, physics. Um, but they're not as sexy or exciting as talking about, you know, biohacking and optimizing this and tracking 50,000 things. It's like people will, people will happily talk about anything on the fringes, but will not talk about, well, hey, do you know how many calories you're eating? Are you willing to just track it for a month? See what happens? And you know, because that's not a, that's not an exciting answer. And, and, you know, I get it. This is, you know, I said that's my mission, but I'm not trying to be like, oh, we need to get the whole world to think like this. No, we don't need anybody to think like this. This is for you. If you are the person watching this and you want to get lean and you want to do it in an enjoyable way, in a peaceful way, then, then, and you try it, you track your calories, like go through the Peaceful Abs Project uh, uh, lessons and put it into practice. Um, or reach out to me if you want to, you know, go through the coaching with me. Put it to practice and find out for yourself. And then, it doesn't matter what the world is doing. It doesn't matter what the world thinks. All that matters is that now you can enjoy a, a leaner, stronger, healthier body, right? Like that's the whole point. The whole reason you wanted to lose fat was because you thought you'd feel good when you lost the fat. Not, oh, I'm gonna lose this fat and then the entire, I'm gonna change the entire world's opinion. It's just a silly thing. You know, the only reason I even talk about this is because this is, you know, my, I coach people. This is my business. Um, but if it wasn't, let's say I had a different job or one day I stopped doing this, then I don't really, you know, I don't really feel the need to talk about it. Um, but what I do know is for the people that, you know, have worked with me or have, learned you know taking the stuff and applied it and gotten the results their lives are completely different like they're they're relaxed that's you know my biggest win or thing that i'm proud of as a coach over the last you know 12 13 no yeah th like 12 years is that when somebody works with me, the biggest thing they get is the peace that they operate with. Like, they're an oasis of, oasis of calm in a sea of chaos and uncertainty. Like, situations that throw off most people don't throw them off. Um, they can adapt to anything. They don't freak out. Um, and they just calmly and consistently close the gap and then once they've gotten to where they want to be, then they live life. And that's pretty much it, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like 
doing these videos about repetition. Um, um, I think it's something that's needed more and more because the the topics are just getting out of hand, and it's lot. It, it is not like physiology is changing. It's not like physics is changing. Um, as of now, the mechanism to decrease the amount of fat on your body is still uh, decrease calories, <laughs> you know. Use more calories than you consume. And the best place to do that is watching the amount of calories that you're consuming. Um, and maybe we'll talk about this in the next one, but tracking calories and weighing things is actually very easy and simple. Um, one of the, you know, things that people will say or believe is that tracking calories is really difficult. It's not. Like, there's, there might be like 20 different things at, at the most that you eat. So if you learn how to track 20 things, which you could do in a day, you're set for the rest of your life. Like, <laughs> you know, it doesn't get... It doesn't get simpler than that. Whereas if you don't track things, you don't know what you're eating. You don't know the calorie contents. You don't know portions. Um, and you're in the dark for the rest of your life. Like you could take six months, track everything, and now know this for the rest of your life and enjoy a lean body for the rest of your life. Or you could just stay in the dark and struggle and, you know, be frustrated for the rest of your life um either way that time's gonna pass and 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 i'll say this also because people people get that they understand that and you might be sitting there like i get it i get it but you have to be gentle with yourself and have a light touch because the guilt and shame and being overly forceful with yourself doesn't really work all you have to do I've been saying this a lot. The decision is the doorway. Like if you decide to work with a coach, like now you've opened the doorway to the path. But all you have to do is take the action in the real world. I just told you to track calories, weigh things and log them in Macro Factor, which is my favorite calorie tracking app now after using MyFitnessPal for 10 years. <clears throat> but I've, I told you to track, log, weigh things. And now the, the, the results, everything will change if you go in the kitchen and you start weighing and logging things. If you download the app, Macro Factor, and you start tracking things, you have changed the moment you take the action. Um, you don't need to think about it anymore. Um, cause uh, so much of this stuff can become so convoluted and like nebulous, even, you know, for me, I'm like, from a business perspective, um, I haven't been, I would like to be a better business person. I would like to be more successful in terms of, you know, financially and, I do the same thing there that I see that people do with food. Um, and I see, you know, the opposite in a lot of clients. They're on top of things. They, they do things. They experiment. They take the action. They find out. They recalibrate. And they continuously close the gap. But then when it comes to food, they struggle. They, they just research and research and research. And all they had to do the whole time was... Get a scale, start weighing your food, put it in macro factor. Like, that is all you have to do. And obviously, like I said, having a coach makes such a big difference because, you know, you don't see all your blind spots and you don't know what you don't know. So although you could do it by yourself, you can shorten what you can do with a coach is shorten years of trial and error into six months of focused, targeted learning, plus getting those results with certainty so anyways that's enough rambling for today um 
I will see you, see you in the next one.